All right, guys, let's talk about advanced orders on your cell phone because most of you said you're not on your desktop while trading. So what you're going to do first, you're going to go to the search button on your far right hand side, pick the ticker that you're trading. So if I'm trading SPX, I'll pick that and go to options tab right there. Now decide if it's puts or calls, puts on your right hand side, calls on your left now, if I'm doing calls, I will click on the strike chart right here. Over here, I have buy. Then I will go to market. Right? Now, once I pick market, I'm going to scroll down and create advanced orders. On your left, where you see add order, you click on it. Then right there where you click, click again. And over here is where you're going to add your leg. And your leg here is your trail, right? Because you want it to, uh, to um, sell you by following the trade. Trail stop. Down here, make sure now you decide what type of, you know, trail you want. So if I want a $50 trail, I will do that. Depending on what you want. If you want $75, if you want $25, $10, you pick right there. Very important on your left here to pick bid so you need to trail you at the bid because if you trail at the mark or at the ask whatever you're gonna get sold very quickly on that type of trail so once you trail like that you click on there right you're gonna go click back on group and here you're gonna hit review once you hit review scroll down if you're ready to trade you hit send but if you're not ready to trade and you want to watch the action, then you hit save. Once you hit save, you will see all your saved data information in here. All right, so you saved your order. So now you're watching your, your strike. You know, you're watching the action as it's happening. And you're like, all right, I'm about to enter into a trade. So what you, now, what you do now, you go back to your orders. And what you saved immediately, you hit send. So... You don't have to you don't have to now keep going back and and you know trying to add the order and all that stuff so that's the beauty of that you're watching your trade on your phone and you see it's gonna be calls and you're getting it at a key level you just go to your orders and hit the one you saved if it's calls right there pay attention if it was puts right there, pay attention, guys. <laughs> then what do you do? Hit there and hit send. Immediately you do that, it's going to start following your trade. And you don't have to touch it. You don't have to do anything. You just now let it play out. Now, the only difference with the, what do you call it, with the phone setup, you have to do this for every structure that you need to trade right? Unlike the desktop where you can just save it and that um, trigger will happen to any structure you pick. For the phone, you have to keep doing this manually for each strike, right? So you got to have to do that. And then don't forget, you have your order numbers there. So if you're only doing one, then you have that right there. But if you are going to trade maybe five contracts or whatever, don't forget, to come back to your phone when you switch to market and in here you pick the number of contracts you're trading right there right and then you scroll down to create the advanced order and over here you're gonna find you have five and then don't forget to switch that right there trail stop change the number 0 0.20 if you want that like that Go back to group, review, save or send. So at the end of the day, when you're done um, and you didn't use some of your advanced orders, just come here, up here on the left, and just delete all this stuff. So that the next day, you know, you start afresh. You don't want to get confused when it comes to options trading because any confusion can cost you money <laughs> right all right one other thing guys that you guys can do um just always come to your 
you know, um, trade, if you're trading SPY or whatever, save like three orders, right? Start with the one in the money. Let's go to SPY. All right, you go to first start with the in the money, a little bit of the money, and the last one. So like three of the calls and three of the puts. Save all of those on your advanced orders so that when you're trading SPY or let's say you're watching ES like I showed you guys and, you know, your setup is forming like right here. Right here, you're like, all right, I'm buying puts, right? You can just go right here on your orders and you'll see your puts right there and immediately click on it and hit send. So that will really help you to avoid wasting time. And um, something else, if you don't want to see all your studies, you can always just click on this on the eye, remove studies. Or if you want to see all your studies, click in there and you'll see all your good stuff. You have your PPS, you have everything in there. If you don't want to see it, click on the eye again, remove your studies. All right, guys, hope that helps.